The lovable bear Kuma may have started out as a joke character in the Tekken series, but in Tekken 8, Jesus Christ! No one's laughing anymore. The latest iteration of Hayachi's loyal pet boasts some serious damage, legitimate pressure, and causes just as many headaches on block as he does on hit. Damage here, the booty. Yeah, man. In this video, we'll take a close look at Kuma's most iconic stance, namely the hunting bear stance, specifically after blocking Kuma's running 1 plus 2. Kuma's running 1 plus 2 is a heat engager. It knocks down on hit and leaves Kuma plus 3 on block. Kuma can also choose not to go into hunting bear stance, but for the sake of this video, we're going to look at all the options available when he does. Without further ado, I'm Chad the Third, and this is Tekken Scenarios. Option A, Hunting Bear 1-2. Hunting Bear 1-2 is a deceptively versatile option. The first hit activates in 12 frames, making it uninterruptible after running 1 plus 2. The second hit, however, has three possible impact timings, depending on how long the Kuma player holds down the 2 button. 1, Instant 2 is a natural combo that leaves Kuma plus 4 on hit and minus 13 on block. 1, Brief Hold 2 is no longer a natural combo, but is plus 13 on hit and minus 12 on block. 1, Long Hold 2 is a full-on launcher and plus 3 on block. Trying to deal with this option is a mini-adventure in and of itself. A reversal can be used to be an instant 2, but gets blown up by Brief or Long Hold. A Magic 4 can punish Brief Hold or Long Hold 2, but gets counter hit by instant 2. Even Asuka's long-lasting reversal can counter instant and Brief Hold 2, but... The best answer to this option seems to be to alternate between simply blocking and sidestepping anti-clockwise as a quick sidestep to the right beats both brief hold and long hold options clean. Lastly, bear in mind, get it? Bear, bear in, bear in, I'm sorry. In heat, Kuma's instant two gains all the properties of brief hold two, and brief hold two gains all the properties of long hold two, essentially skipping straight to the second level of charge. Option B, hunting bear two. Hunting bear two is an I-21 low with tremendous tracking to both sides. It leaves Kuma plus 21 on hit and in hunting bear stance. And even though nothing is guaranteed on hit, it essentially allows Kuma to loop the mix up over and over. This low is minus 15 on block and slow enough to be interrupted by anything 17 frames or faster. Option C, hunting bear one plus two. Hunting bear one plus two is an I-19 tornado launching mid that tracks extremely well to both sides. It's minus 15 on block, but the pushback on the move consistently makes I-15 attacks reach him in 16 frames instead. This means that depending on the character, you might have to settle for an I-14 punish instead. This move too can be beaten by any mid 15 frames or faster. However, be mindful that a reflexive down jab will often go over Hunting Bear 2 and instead get you launched for your trouble. You have been warned. Option D, Hunting Bear 3 plus 4. Hunting Bear 3 plus 4 is an I-21 armored mid that is minus 12 on block and gains little substantial on hit. It's also highly steppable in both directions. Not much else to really say about this one. Option E, Hunting Bear back 1 plus 2. This is another big low option that knocks down on hit and is a whopping minus 25 on block. Kuma can also choose to do back 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2, which adds a second low spin to the string but remains equally punishable on block and doesn't really provide a mix-up. The string is easily walkable in both directions and is interrupted by anything 22 frames or faster. Option F, Hunting Bear Down Forward 2. Hunting Bear Down Forward 2 is another launching mid, this one activating in 15 frames, making it uninterruptible by anything slower than 11 frames. It's also minus 17 on block and is easily stepped or walked anti-clockwise. Option G, Hunting Bear Down 1 Plus 2. Hunting Bear Down 1 Plus 2 is perhaps the safest option. A 16 frame mid that is safe on block at minus nine and is a heat engager on hit. It looks almost identical in animation to running 1 Plus 2. And in the heat of the moment, it can be hard to tell whether you're now minus three or plus nine. 
A pro tip is to listen out for the sound cue, as the running OnePlus 2 will make the chip damage sound, whereas hunting the down OnePlus 2 won't. Also, this option can be easily stepped in both directions. As with all mix-up stances, there isn't a single answer that beats all options. But in my opinion, the central question is figuring out if the Kuma player is trying to play airtight or if they're instead focused on partying and knowledge checking you to death. Many of the options can be beaten with a 12 or 13 frame mid, which means checking Kuma players who are trying to get cute is an essential skill. However, the few options that can beat a 12 frame check can all themselves be beaten by blocking, sidestepping right, or a combination of the two. The key then might be to present a willingness to challenge the stance early on and thus force Kuma to go for the riskier options if they want to extract any value from the stance. Hopefully this video has been useful and if it has, be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons. And be sure to follow me on Twitch so you can witness me dropping combos in real time. Until next time though, peace. Yo!